Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Price Entries Tasca Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 74 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts of test automation by using Tricentis Tosca. From few videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real-time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacles and how can you solve those obstacles while automating the test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. And don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. This is our lesson 75 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca automation. And it is our obstacle 33 in terms of real time scenarios. So, in this lesson, I am going to teach you how can we solve an obstacle where you need to play a game by using Tricentis Tosca with the help of loops and conditions method and send keys method. So, now let us see in detail what is the obstacle that we are going to solve for. So, here are the obstacles that we are solving from few videos onwards and Today's obstacle is Tricentis Tosca Olympics, which is categorized as hard. Let us go for it. What is the obstacle we need to solve? So, we need to basically play this game by using Tricentis Tosca. We need to automate playing the game. So, how can we do that? Let me show you what is the game. So, you can see here. Here are the instructions that it is going to display as soon as you click on start. Here a person is going to do ice skating and a tree comes either left side or right side and your instruction is going to show you whether to move left or right. How are we going to move left or right by using the keyboard right arrow and left arrow. Let us click on start. If you see the instruction go left, go right, go left, go right, go left. So basically I am just clicking on the right and left arrow based on the instructions that are displaying. So we need to automate by using Tosca to play the game. So how can we do that? Let us go back to try to Tosca. Before that, let me just click on try again. Right? Let's keep the screen here. Let's go back to Tosca. As usual, we are going to start working on module section right side. Right click on this obstacles folder, scan, application. Now select the application that you would like to scan and click on scan. So if you see here, we need to capture two objects. One is start button and the instructions that are displaying to play the game. Either go left, right, or if, if your game is over, then it's going to say you did it. And then if you failed to play the game, it's going to say you got crashed. Right? So basically, I need to capture these instructions as well as the start button. For that, you can see here, there is a start button, which is uniquely identified, but I don't see these instructions. So for that, let's expand the filter here. Click on this and click one more time. So now you can see here, this is the instruction, prepare for the start. This is the instruction, right? So select this instruction and make sure to select the right properties. So here for that, for this div component, this is basically a div element, right? So here I would like to use ID and then tag as div. I don't want to use inner text. So uncheck this one. So basically for this div element, I want to use id text tag div. Okay. So once we capture these two objects, now name the module as your obstacle name. Name the module as obstacle name. Copy the obstacle, then paste it here. 
And now save the module and then close your X cap. So let us go back to Trisant Tosca and scroll down to the bottom. So this is the obstacle that we captured just now. Double click on this to make sure it shows save and start button. So here the instructions keep changing, right? So I don't want to keep the instruction as it is, but I just, I would like to rename this as diff. Okay. So once that is done, now let us start automating the test case. So right click on this obstacles test case folder and create test case. And then paste the same obstacle name that we captured earlier. And then double click on this. Now let us start automating. So what is the first action that we need to perform? Our first action is you have to click on start button. So for that, I'm going to simply drag this and drop onto my test case. Then I'm going to name this as this particular step as start the game. Start the game. And then so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on start button. So for that, enter the value again start button as x which performs click action so once that is done i'm going to start using do statement why because i have to perform left arrow and right arrow multiple times until the game is over or until you crash the game right so these are the two possibilities so always i have to click on left arrow on the keyboard or right arrow on the keyboard. So this is a loop. So that's why I'm going to use here, right click on your test case and then select create do statement. So once I click on start, now I'm going to say, I'm going to name this as while there is a tree. So whenever there is a tree, you need to either perform left keyboard operation or right arrow keyboard operation. So here, what I'm going to do under loop, I would like to introduce an if condition here, create if statement. So what I'm going to do here now under loop, so I'm going to name this loop as Turn. So what I'm doing here under loop, I'm basically turning either left or right. How are gonna, how are we gonna identify whether to turn left or right? I'm gonna tell you now. Okay. If the tree is on right side, the tree is on right side, you need to click on left arrow, right? So for that, what I'm going to do here, under condition, drag this module and drop onto the condition. So, okay, let me do one thing. Let me rename this as, where is the tree? And my condition, first condition is to verify is tree, on the on the right side if the tree is on right side what should i do i should click on left arrow so for that how do you know if the tree is on right side or not by seeing the instruction if the tree is on right side you are going to get instruction as go left if the tree is on left side, then you will get instruction as go right, right? So now that's why what I'm going to do, I'm going to verify the inner text of this div. Inner text. So basically your action mode should be first verify and come back to the value. Inner text equal to, if the inner text is equal to go left if the inner text is equal to go left then what should i perform i have to click on right arrow in the keyboard for that 
under then I would like to call add step I'm going to use T box send keys and here under caption so what is the caption of the window my caption of the window is caption of the window is price and tits obstacle course and so on so what I'm going to do price and tits obstacle I'm going to use a regular expression price and tits obstacle okay that is my window caption and then here I need to send a key left so done I am sending a key left and then if the tree is on right side then you are clicking on left what if the tree is left side for that for the same if condition I am going to insert right click on this if condition you can see here this is your if condition and then insert create else statement so I am going to say here if the tree is on left side then again now what I am going to do again I am going to call send keys add test step t box send keys again here let us take the caption of the window from here and this time you need to click you need to click on right you need to click on right key right okay let me again right open sorry close curly braces and then close these double quotes so what i'm doing is to send a key basically double close double quotes open curly braces left close curly braces and then close double quotes in the same way right so i have to perform this either left or right based on your instruction until when until this condition is met so this is your loop and this is your condition sorry this is your loop and this is your condition we finished loop now what is the condition just drag this obstacle again module and drop on to condition what is the condition until I get the instruction this should repeat until I don't get the instruction as trash or you did it right so here what I'm going to do again I'm going to use verify and then here I'm going to capture the inner text inner text not equal to repeat this until inner text not equal to I'm going to use the regular expression open curly braces regex either your instruction should be crash or pipe symbol you did it and then close your double quotes close your square braces and close your curly braces so you can see here I am using the regular expression this instruction div should not have an inner text of crash or you did it that means this loop will be continuing until it has left right left right instruction as soon as you get the instruction or crash or you did it it's gonna stop the loop okay so now let us change the work state of this test case as completed save the test case now let me explain what we did okay so what we did first we simply use the module to click on start button and then I have introduced a do statement which will have loop and the condition 
under loop i am using if statement to find out where is the tree if the tree is on right side i will be getting the instruction as go left here if i get the instruction as go left then i am sending a key left key if the tree is on left side then i need to click on right so because my first condition is go left then i am clicking on left else what is the next condition it will be right so i need not to again verify inner text go right right so i am basically using the else condition so this needs to be repeated until it finds the instruction as crash or you did it so now let us run this before i run let me click on try again and now let us run the test case right click on right click on test case and run in scratch book now it's going to start playing the game you can see here go left it is clicking on left go right it is again clicking on right go left so it's going to complete the entire game so it's crashed let's see what happened okay let's go back here now so what we missed is here if you see it is repeating until 30 times only after that it is not repeating so that means i have to basically increase this limit to loop i have to increase how select this do statement open the properties so you can see maximum repetitions allowed is 30 i would like to make this as 100 now you save the test case so don't forget to increase the limit of your do loop property okay so now if i run the test case again let's try again so now if i run the test case now it is going to play entire game so now it started playing go right it clicked on right go left it is clicking on left arrow so it's going to complete the entire game as soon as it finds the instruction as you did it it's going to stop see here we got the instruction as good job you solved this automation problem because it came as because the message came as you did it so hope you all understand the concept so if you see here the loop repeated almost like 44 times so after 44th time the game is over and then you did it so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand how can we solve an obstacle where you need to play a game by using tricentis task with the help of loops and condition methods and send keys method please do subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos don't forget to like and share the video thank you